Hey guys, it's Hex13. How's it going? Um, in this video, I'm going to show you or talk to you about an understanding basics of footprinting. And you're probably wondering, what, what is footprinting? Um, well, footprinting is basically you're tracing someone or something on the internet, uh, local or even on your local network. Um, your goal here is to gather information such as IP address ranges, uh, host name, domains, phone numbers, email, street address, country, and city. Now you're probably wondering now why would I want to trace someone? Um, well maybe someone is attacking your network at home or even your server at you know work or your home server that you keep at in your private home of yourself for yourself. Um, you are receiving a lot of email spam or want to trace it you want to find out where this person's coming from country or ISP related and you want to turn them in or you want to maybe report a problem of that person maybe sending a DOS attack or even a DDoS okay um, now um, how do I start how do I start tracing someone if it's a website or an IP address you want to use your terminal or your command prompt if you're using Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and open terminal here. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here for you guys so you can see what I'm doing here. Now, um, what you want to do here is you want to ping that IP address or the uh, website that you want to find out who it is. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and show demonstration with Google. So www.google.com and as you can see I'm getting ping or an IP address. It's getting a reply from this right here, this IP address that's highlighted. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and now if you're using Unix, Linux or you know even a Mac like I am, um, you can use who is or you if you're using Windows you can uh, use a few websites that I'll be putting in the description and even show you how that works. Um, there's even some tools out there. I've heard something called Spade that can do like a Who Is, and there's even free websites that do Who Is. So Who Is, and then the IP address. So I'm just gonna right click and paste that, and press Enter. Now it's going to tell me that it's from American Registry here and that it's associated with um, uh, RN who is database and services. So they already gave me a link here for where I can look at here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and copy it and show you guys what exactly uh, this site is. So. Um, Okay, RN. Now, RN.net is a who is, and it says it's provided by Google, Google and Company. Okay, this is the IP address range. So, this would be stuff that you would jot down if you were, you know, tracing someone or some website you don't even know. So, this is what you're looking for if it's located with this. Now, if it isn't, and it's from a different country, you're going to need to use the one that's associated what's in the, my description of my video. I'm going to be listing them with what country or where you might need to go. So if it says located with something else, then you go to that site instead. So um, now that we have, we know that Google is its own Google company, you're, you're probably wondering, okay now, um, if now that I know who it is, where are they? Now I use a website here um, that I go to and you can use, I'm sure there's other services you can use, but I like to use http colon slash slash ip address dot com and it's spelled exactly like it is in the title. Now you want to click at the bottom or you can just type the slash at the end. I guess you can type it, slash ip underscore tracer. Now this you can only use so many times a day or weeks probably so they only give you they give you a limit to this it's completely free to use you don't need an account or anything like that so um, 
I think I'm getting some internet problems here, issues, the internet's slow here. Okay, so you want to go ahead and you want to put in the IP address of Google. So you ping that, and then look, you found out Google's in California, Mountain View, and now you're probably wondering, okay, well then how do I know this is true? If you go to Google's website, and you go to contact us or about yeah about Google and then go to contact us there it is the address so you can verify if that's you know legitimate or not and you got your footprinting correct now there's other ways of foot footprinting in uh, tactics that you could use you can also use um, the netstat command and netstat is great when you want to trace someone's yahoo or you know msn um, feeds like instant messaging if you instant message and you're sending files you can send when sending a file and you're sending a file you can find your buddy's you know ip address or something by using the netstat command and i believe i could use it in here let me go ahead and try yes now it's going to be look a lot different than it is in windows so um in windows it's much cleaner and you'll see it on the very bottom is where you'll notice where that um that new ip address came in that would be your buddy's ip address now um the net stack command however in my terminal for mac is a lot different compared to windows so in windows you're probably better off with that um, you can also trace uh, email addresses or email spam that is so if you use Mozilla Firefox you can open the email and then click on menu view headers and then select all and then you copy and paste that email header and you'll notice there's an IP address in there associated maybe even his email address or the person's email address now you can also do it in Google Mail you just click on the reply button or it's next to the reply button it's a down arrow and you click the down arrow and you click show the original and then you copy and paste the email header as well now this also works in Outlook 98, 2000, 2003 and Express Hotmail and Windows Live will no longer display the email headers they used to and now they do not show the view source message and the view source message was easy to where you could see their email and IP address so what did you learn from all this? You can basically you can find out where if the, you think someone's an attacker, you can find out yourself. You can find out whether what ISP they're using, stuff like that. So um, you just have to you know dink around with it and you know mess around with what websites you think uh, you're wondering where they're from. So. Uh, you know, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, just, you know, let me know what you guys think of this. Um, I know I didn't really show you very much in this video. It's more of an explanation of understanding the basics of footprinting. It's not an all high detail as you may want it, but this is what, as far as I can go with the footprinting. Um, you got any questions, concerns, you know, let me know. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Talk to you later.